Hi guys, as promised, I have started recording a new set of videos on how to test RESTful web services with uh, JUnit 5, Mykita, and I'll also cover in this series how to test your REST API with REST Assured Framework. So stay tuned. This series and other videos that I'm recording are being added to my video course I'm currently working on. It's about building a RESTful web services with Spring Boot, Spring MVC, and also Spring Data GPA. And if you're interested to look at it, and I hope you are, the link to my video course is in the description to this video. In the following videos, we are going to create our very first test case for the RESTful Web Services project we have created. And we've created this project using Maven, and we have a familiar structure here. Here's the source folder, and this folder contains different packages that we have created. These packages are organized into three main layers, and our first layer is user controller. So inside of this user controller class, we have uh, the mappings for different methods like we have a post mapping for a method that is called create user and this method accepts HTTP request and then calls the business logic which is inside of our service layer to create a user and we have a get mapping for a method which is called get user and this method accepts user id and returns back user details we will also test this method as well and then the main business logic we have inside of user service and user service is an interface which is inside of service package and then inside of the implementation package we have the implementation of this user service for example for the get user details here we use Spring Data GPA and we have a user repository which looks up user details by their email address and then return it back as a user data transfer object to our REST controller. And in the following videos, we will test this class and this method as well. So let's begin with writing unit tests for user service implementation class. And if you look at the structure of a project, uh, it is organized into two main sections. The very first section is called source main Java. It contains all your Java sources and the packages that we have created. And there is another one right after the resources, which is called source test Java. So this section here will contain all the packages and the source files for the test cases that we're going to write. We already have a sample package here, which is exact match of the root package that we have, com apps developer block app ws, and we have the same name here. And by default, we have one test case created here, which is an integration test. It is just an example. If we run it now, it will be a successful test because it doesn't test for any conditions. And if we do not assert and do not test conditions, by default, the test will pass. But it is an integration test. It will bring up entire Spring context. But at this moment, we don't really need it. We will create a very simple unit test that will test a service layer class. We'll create a very simple unit test that will test one method in our service implementation class, and that method will be the get user. And then we will take a more advanced example and we will test the create user. We are going to test this project using JUnit Framework, and it's important to make sure that we have a dependency on JUnit Framework added to our project. We have created this project with Spring Boot and Maven. And when we create projects with Maven, we get this pomxml file added to our project. And if I open my pomxml and then switch to XML view, I have different dependencies here organized in starter projects. So I have the Spring Boot starter web, and then we have a starter for Spring Data uh, GPA, and so on. And one of the starters that we need to add is for the testing framework. If I scroll down all the way here, I have a dependency that is called Spring Boot Starter Test. So this dependency adds testing frameworks to our project. And then Maven will go uh, and download all the libraries that are needed for testing Spring Boot applications for us. Maven will download the GUnit itself and it will download Hamcrest and uh, Makita framework that we will be using to mock objects for our unit tests. And for us to be able to use JUnit and Makita in our project, we will have to make sure that this dependency is added. 
To create a new test class, I will go to my source test Java folder and I will select the root package and then I will hold control button and click on it and select new and then gunit test case. At the very top, we have an option to select one of the three gunit frameworks. And by default, gunit 4 is selected, but there is already gunit 5 available and it's called gunit Jupyter. So I'll select this latest framework. And the next step for me is going to be actually at the very bottom here. I'll need to select the class under test. The class under test is the class that I'm going to write test cases for. So I'll click on browse and here I'll need to search for a class that I'm going to test. And I'm going to test user service implementation. It's in my history. I can remove it from the history and then search for it again. And it starts with user service. And here I have user service implementation class inside of my service implementation package. So I'll simply uh, select it and click on OK. So the next step for me is to add class name and then provide its package location. So for the class name, I will select the class that I'm going to test and then paste it into the name field. But at the end of it, I will add test. And this is kind of convention that you can follow to name your test classes so that their names are different from the class which is under test. And for the package, I will select the package to this class and then replace the root package with the complete package name. So the class under test is user service implementation. I'm creating a test case for it. It's called user service implementation test and it's inside of this package. Now I'm also offered to generate code for these four methods. Setup before class, tear down after the class and so on. I will select setup only and Sprint Tool Suite will auto generate a code for this setup method. Although this code is going to be very basic, there will not be much in it, but it will help us to get started. The other three we will not really use in the following a few videos, so I'm not going to generate them. So I've selected uh, only setup method. I'll click on next. And now I have user service implementation a class unfolded uh, with a list of the different methods that I have inside of that class. I will need to select those methods that I'm going to test in this test case. I will begin with a very simple class on purpose so that we can get started. And then once we are done testing the get user method, we'll pick up slightly more difficult example. Like for example, create user functionality is uh, much bigger. So I'm going to select the get user only and then click on finish. Now, if you get this window popped up, this is because we do not have GUnit 5 on the build pass and this window should pop up once only. I will um, add GUnit 5 library to my build path and I should not be seeing this window anymore. So I'll click on OK. And here we go, GUnit 5 has been added to our build path and we have a very simple test case created user service implementation test class. We have the setup method created with annotation before each and we have only one test method added which will fail if I run this test because it calls fail function right away. To quickly run this test case and see if it's working or not, I will right mouse click and then scroll down to choose run as and select gunit test. And here we go. The result is a red bar here. So this the gunit test has failed because of this fail statement, I can expand it a little bit. And here's the error message that says not yet implemented. If I double click on the test which has failed, it will take me to the source of that test and I can inspect it and see what was wrong. And to bring up the GUnit panel with the test results, I can find it on the right side here. We have GUnit and I can click on it and it will bring up the GUnit panel again. Okay, so the very first test class is created. Let's continue and let's add the business logic of our test get user method to actually learn how we can use JUnit 5 to test our code. 